and welcome back to the Breakdown Tech. Today I'm going to be talking about an $800 Twitch streaming PC. Yep, a PC that you can actually game on and stream to Twitch on for just $800. This is an awesome overall budget build that is going to be great for Twitch streaming. So if you're looking to stream to Twitch but don't want to spend a ton of money getting into it, this can be a great option for you. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. We cover tons of stuff involving PC gaming so you won't regret it. Also, be sure to check out the links to any and all of the parts I mentioned in this system down below on Amazon. If you buy through any of those links, it also helps support the channel, so thank you very much for doing that. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get on into this build. For the processor, we're going with an AMD Ryzen 5 2600X. This is a 6-core processor, and it's running at 3.6 gigahertz for the base clock. Encoding live video to Twitch is very processor heavy, and because of that, this build actually leans towards the processor a little bit, and that's a good thing because AMD AMD is offering a great product here with the Ryzen 5 2600X, so awesome stuff. This is going to be a great processor for you streaming to Twitch. It's going to be able to live encode without any problem and run any games you want at the same time. We're going to need a motherboard to throw it in though, and for that we're going with the ASRock MB350M Pro 4. This is obviously a micro ATX motherboard, but it's going to work great for everything we needed to do here. You're going to have an upwards of 64 gigabytes of RAM with enough room to throw in a sound card or something like that in the future if you want to use this as a encoding and streaming PC and a separate PC for gaming in the future. That's the thing about Twitch streaming guys, once you get up and actually get established, you can buy another PC to game on and use this one for encoding to basically offload all of the work that your PC is doing, gaming and streaming at the same time. And luckily this motherboard will allow you to do that without any problems. Now for the RAM, we're going with two 8GB sticks of G-Skill Aegis DDR4 RAM. This is going to be plenty of RAM to be able to game and stream at the same time. You're going to be able to have your chat up and all of that stuff and you may be able to run Discord, but I would suggest against having a ton of Chrome tabs open all at the same time. Overall, gaming doesn't take much RAM. Streaming takes a bit, but Chrome eats it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I was going to end it at breakfast, but no, it eats it for all three meals of the day. Chrome loves RAM, so if you have any RAM issues, be sure to start with Chrome. But nevertheless, this is going to be competent RAM to be able to stream, open Discord, game, all that stuff at the same time without any issues. So awesome stuff there. For our storage, we're going with a one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue HDD. It's going to be plenty of space for your games, your operating system. However, you might run into some issues if you're recording all of your streams locally. You're going to have to manage that file system to be able to do that. It can hold them for a while, but running through, if you're streaming three hours a day, a terabyte of data will not take long, I know from experience. So be sure to uh, keep that in mind. However, if you're just streaming, just uploading it live and not keeping it locally, you're good there. This isn't going to be any issues as far as storage goes. You're going to have plenty of room for your games and your operating system, and it's a 7200 RPM drive, and it's going to be plenty fast enough for you. Now here's the graphics card, and for it we're going with an NVIDIA GTX 1060 6 gigabyte graphics card. You want to make sure you get the 6 gigabyte one here. This is going to be plenty of GPU to be able to stream, game, all at the same time. Three gigabytes of VRAM to each, for example, would be plenty. And this is an awesome graphics card, and it's not too expensive, right around the $300 range at the time I'm recording this video. So, awesome stuff there, and that is a great component to kind of put this build all together. But you need something to put it in. For that, we're going with a Rosewell FBM X1 case. This is a beautiful case with a glass side window and everything. You'll be able to show off your system and it'll look good in your setup. It really does surprise me for the price. It's only $26.99 currently on Amazon, so awesome stuff there. This is a great case for you guys and I think it'll look good pretty much in any setup because you got the glass window and the black surroundings of the case. So it's going to be beautiful. Now for our power supply we're going with a 550 watt Cooler Master Master Watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply. This is going to be plenty of room for your system as far as power goes. It's a reputable power supply brand. It's going to serve you very well. So the total price of this build comes out at $810.11 
seven cents at the time I'm recording this video. Could go down some, could go up a little bit depending on how much prices fluctuate, but overall prices are heading downward, which makes me think we could be seeing this thing under $800 very, very soon as GPU prices continue to drop and hopefully RAM prices come down a little bit as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, the bottleneck on this system is 11%, guys, which is a little high for me, what I like to go with, but it's CPU leaning, meaning that the CPU is a little too powerful, and that's what we want to see with live streaming because uh, it's a very CPU intensive process. So anyway, guys, again, hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown Tech, and I am out, guys. Peace.